I'm professional mountain biker Ryan Petrie. And I'm professional cyclist Alexi Bermulin. We search the country to find three novice bikers looking to take on the challenge of a lifetime. We plan to help train and equip these new riders to tackle one of the hardest bike races in the nation, the Leadville Trail 100, a high altitude event covering over 100 miles. These riders have lots of training to do before then, as we're starting from the ground up. The Leadville Trail 100. It is a clouded mystery, sometimes in my opinion, having only done it once myself, starting at 10,000 feet, climbing up to 13,000, multiple mountains in your way, along with 104 miles. Not a race for the faint of heart. Leadville has a history of creating tough people. It creates this, if I don't finish, I'm not a failure, I need to train harder and come back. And that's really, really cool. It inspires people. If you have someone who really, truly hasn't done it, it's life changing. Rolling into season two of From the Ground Up. I'm doing a lot of things the same, a few things differently. I knew we wanted to do this whole thing again, so we uh, put out another application call to action video and began looking for three new riders. Submission process was interesting this year. People knew what the project was this year. You know, season one, I think they were like, oh, I could get a bike, I could take on this event, I could go to Leadville. And now people had seen season one and they were apprehensive, possibly nervous. And we had a lot of people asking questions, do I fit? We had a lot of very dedicated, interested people who had probably more than had been on a bike training for three to six months instead of nothing at all. It's one of the most challenging races in the US. And why wouldn't I want to do it? Over the past year, actually, I've realized how much I missed pushing myself to my limits. I want to do this. I need to do something like this. I think it would mean a lot to really see what I'm capable of. Picking people is always hard for this project. Finding those little things that make people people and make this project special is the goal. In the end, we chose three incredible people, Rachel, Johanna, and David. Here goes nothing. You guys are killing me with this. I haven't been able to work since last Friday. <laughs> <laughs> or eat or sleep. We honestly just want to know if you want to take on Leadville with us. Oh well, yeah. It was good news. Yeah. <laughs> we love awesome. Leadville. We'd love to have you in this project. Are you serious? What? <laughs> Whoa, that's wild. Okay, we'll do it. You're in. <laughs> <laughs> you want you to be part of the team? Are you, are you serious right now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Congrats, dude. <laughs> Thank you, guys, honestly. What's up, dude? <laughs> What's up? I thought it would be less shocking meeting you guys. What's but up? You're, still, we're just, you're real we're people. Just people. You're What's not just interesting on? people. That's awesome. Great <laughs> no, to see you. That's true. Come on in. My name is David Olaga. I am 34 years old. I am from the Los Angeles area, and I am training to do the Leadville 100. David was this just caring, emotional, I want to give everything I have toward this, and even though I might not be ready for it, guy. If we can fit him into this roster, he's our guy for sure. Hello. Hello, hello. Oh my God. Hi. Oh. Hey. Good to meet you, finally. You <laughs> too. Nice to meet you. I'm Frederick. Nice Alexi. My name is Johanna Hachbel. I'm 44. I'm an attorney with an aerospace company. I'm originally from Luleå, Sweden and now I live in Charlotte, North Carolina. I've always been active. I played soccer at a really high level. After I was in law school, the sports piece of it kind of fell off. Johanna is a mother of two. She's been a massive supporter of this project after applying last year. She kind of applied to the project the first season, 
and we knew she'd been on the bike for the entire year, training, same as Roberta Sean and Enzo. And that was really cool to see her with her family. It was one of those things where you're like, this is a cool mom and she is going to just show everybody how you can get it done. Oh, we have a bike delivery. Hello. <laughs> hey. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hello, I'm Rachel Crane, and I'm from Denver, Colorado. I started playing soccer at a pretty young age, and soccer was something that I just like immediately kind of picked up, started to excel in, and loved it. I stopped playing soccer because I couldn't keep going and playing for like better clubs. It was just too expensive. So I never really got to see like where that would take me. As a former athlete, she's really excited to see what she's capable of when she really puts together a solid training plan. Today's just getting to know you, opening bikes, opening all the stuff. We will like set up your where you're gonna be training. So you want that to be in a place where maybe you don't feel like it's in the public space, like a yeah. place that you can suffer on your own. <laughs> Nice. There you go. Hey. The background involved to make this project run is pretty extensive. You need bikes. This year we need a bike for Unbound, a bike for Leadville. This season, cool. Rachel, Johanna, and David are not only training for the challenging Leadville Trail 100 mountain bike race, but also the variable distance gravel race, Unbound, which takes place a few months before Leadville. The two races require different bikes, so the riders will receive both a gravel bike from Vast and a mountain bike from Niner. They'll also receive all the clothing and gear needed for race day, as well as a training program provided by Wahoo Fitness. The first step of this journey is to assemble bikes and set up training systems. So these are mountain bike and yeah. gravel pedals, um, right. so they clip in on both sides. You rotate it to the right for the right. right one, but then the other side, it's you rotate it to the left, because the idea is if you're pedaling the bike, you're tightening it. We have coaching help from Jeff Hubler and Andrea Dvorak, utilizing System and Wahoo, and those coming all together will help these riders be ready to take on these events. Kind of take this, put it, you can find it on the second, and wrap it around to get it, to get it over there. To help train for this epic journey, Wahoo Fitness will set each cyclist up with a custom training plan. They also provide all the gear needed, including the system training app, kicker trainer, ticker heart rate sensor, and headwind fan. So yeah, usually when you're on the downstroke, is that's when you can put the most weight onto it. There you go. That wasn't hey, so bad. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Awesome. So now the fun stuff, we're gonna use the system app and take a ramp test, the half Monty, to get a sense of where her baseline fitness is at before this whole adventure kicks off. Follow the cues and give it everything you have. There's only gonna be a small amount where you're like, okay, this is hard. But the rest, it kind of just ramps up slowly and I'll walk you through it as well. To get a baseline fitness level for Rachel, Johanna, and David, they'll each take the half Monty ramp test. Just give it everything you have so that when you finish, you know that it's all you have. Like you should be draped over the bars at the end of this. A ramp test is designed to gradually increase in difficulty to the point of failure, where you can't turn the pedals anymore. All three riders have little time to waste, so their training begins now. All the way until the end, let's go. Don't let that stop, come on. Don't let it win, stand, go, stand, go. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. We got heart rate. Nice job. I feel like I could have gotten stronger. Right after you finish, that's as most people feel like they could have. I, My legs wouldn't go anymore, I just don't want to admit it. Um, yeah, so a lot of work to do. My childhood was pretty chaotic, but the one positive thing was that we would be active. We'd go in, because we lived in the north part of Sweden, we'd go skiing as a family. And I just miss that. And thanks to this project, I realized that we could go mountain biking. Like the boys love it. And it's just something that I enjoy to do. 
with all of us as a family, but then of course the competitive spirits in me kicked in and now I just want to see how far I can go. This is sort of what I'm telling my boys too. I'd rather you take a calculated risk and regret it than spend the rest of your life wondering what if. 2020 was hard for most people. For me, things were getting away from me. I was in a relationship, life situation, job, that was all survival based. If I wasn't working, I had to be ready for some type of emergency, some type of disaster. And you know, you have that happening to you enough times, you stop believing good things can happen to you. One of the reasons I applied for this was because I needed to believe that, you know, good things were capable of happening to me. I still have no idea what I want to do in my life. I've never raced competitively. I know it's going to take everything. It's, it's going to take every minute. And I could put in the work. I know I'm capable of physically working. I have always been a bigger dude. I have played sports at a larger size. Some sports make sense, like football. You know, if, if, if my playing weight in high school is 245, I'm still doing the same two a days that our running backs are doing. I'm still putting in the work and I remember putting in that work. I'm convinced that guy's still in here somewhere. You are capable of taking on big things. You are allowed to accept that life has good things for you. I did not apply last year. I psyched myself out because I think there was a lot of things in life that kind of seems too good to be true. I was really passionate about working when I was like giving them everything, but like, missing out on important life things and community and friendships for the sake of like working for other people. I applied to this project out of a space to like begin again. Not only just like physically, but mentally, emotionally, in a lot of ways, starting from the ground up. It really does feel like a promise and commitment to myself of prioritizing important things in life. We found our three, they've got their bikes, they're beginning to get their fitness up, train, kind of learning some of the essential things that you need for the Leadville Trail 100. Next time on From the Ground Up, novice cyclists Johanna, David, and Rachel will all meet in person for the first time as they head to mountain biking Mecca, Bentonville, Arkansas for a two-day skills camp with Coach Lee McCormick. When our shoulders are close to the bars, we have control. When we have control, we have confidence. It will be an intense few days building skills, bonding as a group, and facing challenges head on. Oh my gosh. I was looking down and not forward, so I fell. <laughs> to share in the anxiety and sort of the fear sometimes because it is huge. I'll be honest, if I could spend all day with these people, I would. They're amazing people, they're incredibly encouraging, but at the end of the day, it's gonna have to be me pedaling up those hills. I know it's all just another step to, to get me to Ledger.